The truth is... Is that so?
Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Ready when you are. Where have you been? Let us fight with honor. Well met. Yes. Indeed. The truth is...
as you wish. Thank <laughs> you. 
to share. What to do? 
this my fate again? Must I stand by and watch helplessly? Watch while those I swore to protect are cut down before me. Sir Ulbrick, look out! Damn it all! Did he say Ulbrick? Ah, the unbending blade in the flesh. Unbending blade of... Where was it again? Your sovereignty escapes me. In silence, you cur! I have sworn an oath to defend these people from your treachery! Aye, he has the right of it. We'll protect them. Together. Errolt! What are you doing here? Wellspring was out of danger. I found myself at a loose end. So here I am. Been a while, then. Or is it your lordship? You've up in the world since we last met you. <laughs> now here's a pair I never thought I'd see reunited. A few moons ago, I'd have been as surprised as you are. But here we are, nonetheless. Two swords, standing as one. For French, for those we would protect, the twin blades of Hornberg will fight together once more. Right, old brick, you with me? Shoulder to shoulder, old friend. That is why I wield this blade. Have it! What demons are they? My eyes can follow their blades. Shall be perfect! 
I appreciate it. Really. Here we go. Don't mind if I do. Let's do this. The battle is true. Oh. My way.
I will cut you down! <laughs> Here goes nothing. Here I go! To ashes with you! Here we go!
That's enough, Werner! Your villainy ends here! Villainy, eh? <laughs> what a waste of a good sword. What? What nonsense are you spouting now? A warrior of your skill and repute serving as a glorified bodyguard for paupers and peasants. It isn't too late to find yourself a more worthy cause. Join me as captain of my guard. I will see that you are well compensated. The flame take you and all you stand for. This sword would cut down a hundred tyrants like you to protect the life of a single innocent and defenseless man. Is that truly why you lug that steel around? For the sake of churls you hardly know. God's teeth, they grew fools thick and fast in that hornberg of yours. Tell me, what harvest do you reap with your selfless valor? The gratitude of the rabble, dreaming self-regard. You self-righteous oath. The only cause a man needs is himself. Might is the one truth before which all things must yield. History has shown us this time and again. What do you know of truth? All I need to know. Or have you forgotten? You once wielded your sword for the sake of king and kingdom. How did that work out for you, eh, Sir Albrick? 
Your blade may be unbending, but did the man not break? I cannot deny this. I failed both king and kingdom, and became a prisoner of my own past. So why do you persist in this folly? Join me, and together we can... But on this journey, I have learned something new. To protect someone is to gaze into the future with eyes unclouded. What is this starry-eyed hogwash you speak? To gaze into their future, and the world they would one day build. A bright future that we might share together. This is for what I fight. This is why I must protect those in need. Tell me, Werner, who stands by you? When you look to the future, who gazes with you over the bleak landscape that your might has seized? Enough prattle, fool! My future is as boundless as my power and ambition! No one can stand with me, for I need no man! You are deaf to reason, because you have nothing of substance to protect. And so, it falls to my sword to speak the truth! I will not fail.
with nothing. Is over. Now, before you die, tell me this. Why Hornberg? <laughs> the gate. The gate of Finnis. The what of what? The gate of Finnis lies in Hornberg. I... I had to have it. You destroyed a proud and prosperous realm, led countless multitudes to their deaths, all for some... some gate? 
You thought that a price worth paying? We all hold the worth of men and nations in different measure. No, wait! A sword to protect the weak? Look at this point, fool! It was made for killing, and you are a killer as much as I. I spit on your cause, your justice. I will not die by your sorry blade. No, I shall go out on my own terms. Rot in hell, false knight. How long has it been since I left? It's as if nothing has changed. <laughs> Clyman, sir! You always was quick as lightning! And you ain't slowed down none that I could tell! Good thing, too. Else I might have had the tip of your blade sticking out my back right now. Nay. Could never get one over on you, sir. That's why I never hold back. <laughs> then let's pray that it continues to be so. Still, you have been training hard, I see. You swing a heavier blade than before. I do? Aye, and quicker too. How fare the others? 
Privates, what am I thinking? I've got to run and tell the others you're back. They'll dance a jig to hear the news, I wager. While pursuing the mystery left by Werner's dying words, I stopped over in my second home. Earhart, likewise, returned to Wellspring. He had to go back, he said, and watch over those he'd sworn to protect. When I found my answer, when I realized the cause I truly fought for, faces came unbidden to my mind. To all who need me, this oath I offer. Whenever my strength is needed, I shall come to where you are, and I shall wield my sword to protect you. I have much more to protect now than I did when my journey started. And I know that if I am to fulfill my vow, I must grow stronger still. Hang me, but the boy spoke true. It's Sir Ulbrich in the flesh. Sir Ulbrich! Welcome home, sir. It's good to be back.